Hello, it's been forever. I'm well aware. With all the changes that have happened, we really just need to get to it, okay? So we're just gonna go straight into the astrology super quick, and then this is a collective reading. That means I don't care if you're an Aquarius, I don't care if you're a Pisces, I don't care if you're a Capricorn, that doesn't matter. I'm going to talk about what's happening right now for the collective, not just the cards, but through the astrology. So as most of us know, Pluto moved into Aquarius around January 21st, midnight, like early on the 21st. Um, and drastic change has been seen since then. So think about Aquarius. What is Aquarius? People, humanity, technology, uh, money in certain ways, and um, films. For some reason, Aquarius love movies. Uh, a ton more things, but mainly what you're gonna notice is freedom is important. People want less obligation, more freedom. Um, that's why it makes no sense to have Valentine's Day. Today is Valentine's, so happy Valentine's. But it makes no sense to have Valentine's in the middle of Aquarius season because this is the time of year where people feel most detached and most like they don't want to feel obligated and they're wanting more variety and stimulation mentally because Aquarius is an air sign. Um, so freedom, all of those things make people less likely to be in relationships. However, Venus is still in Capricorn and Capricorn loves to commit and does do well with moral obligation. Venus is shifting into Aquarius to join Mars and Pluto and the sun this Friday, the 16th. Okay, so that will shift as well. Venus, how we do love, relationships, and money, and beauty, is going to shift into Aquarius as well. Um, so Mars is actually conjunct Pluto right now since yesterday. And when Mars conjuncts with Pluto, it can be drastic change. We saw last night the, the Secretary of um, Department of Homeland Security was impeached. So that shows the steps we're taking as a people that we want change, that we want freedom, that we don't want to stand for any of the institutional issues that we had the whole time Pluto was in Capricorn, which was the last 16 years. Okay, so now this is a major shift that we're going to continue to see play out for at least 18 years. But because Pluto is just right now in the zero degree of Aquarius, since January 21st, the last few weeks, this is bringing drastic change for most people. If you are an Aquarius rising moon or sun, this will be hitting you harder. Look and see where Aquarius is in your chart. And that's the area of life where you would have seen and are still seeing these drastic changes. Mars on Pluto in Aquarius is making it even more exaggerated. Mars is how people feel driven, what they're driven toward. Sexual interaction, aggression, um, sometimes violence. It's about kind of getting what you want. Um, and with Pluto, the darker underworld bringing things to light it's going to be a lot of people fighting for their own needs. Okay. So think about that when you're going into a situation. Are you thinking about the other person or are you just thinking about yourself? Um, that's important. This goes for career, relationships, family, anything like that. Um, and think of that as well for the person you're dealing with. Maybe they're going to be just thinking and seeing their side. And you want to give them the ability to have that space, okay? Because we understand the energy that's happening right now. Um, aside from that, which is everything, it's huge right now. Freedom, uh, not wanting to feel obligated, maybe needing space. Aquarius is one of the most detached signs emotionally. However, yes, we know they care about people. They care about the bird's eye view. 
They care about humanity as a whole. What's the big picture? They may not care specifically about individual detail-oriented situations. If you're crying to an Aquarius, they're probably going to want you to suck it up or say, stop making me feel weird, you know, because they don't really care. They care about humanity and philosophy and philanthropy and the larger scale issues with humanity. But personally, they don't really care. They detach in relationships and they can be very cold. So keep that in mind as well, because Venus will be moving here to join Mars and Pluto and the sun this Friday the 16th. That makes this energy very weird for Valentine's. Energy is already weird on Valentine's because people feel forced to show their love and they're like, why don't we do this every day? We're supposed to be doing this every day. And like I said, it's just an awkward time for Valentine's. Anyway, uh, I wanted to pull a few cards. I've already pre-shuffled. If you don't believe me, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to shuffle a little bit more. The point is here, uh, we need to know what we're doing as a collective, okay? Earlier, the hostilities card did jump out when I was shuffling, and that's just that Mars on Pluto, and that's just how people are feeling. Maybe feeling betrayed, maybe feeling forgotten, maybe feeling like um, very unstable and don't know where things are going. We've been feeling this energy of instability, but it has gotten easier since Pluto moved into Aquarius because we let go of all that. 29th degree of Capricorn was so hard. Um, and we felt that several times and we will feel it again later this year when Pluto retrogrades back into Capricorn for the last time. Um, and I believe that's in September. Anyway, so, so far we have the garden and the gate all tied up in reverse, okay, which means people don't want to feel tied up. People want freedom in the second chakra, which is the sacral. So... Um, the sacral is about personal power and personality and uh, basically how we feel and how we get the things that we want. It's the fire. It's um, kind of like your intuition and what drives you. And with the garden and the gate, this is all about, you know, the things that we want. Can you see? The garden and the gate. Anyway. So this is saying, like, I want to go for me. And that does happen in, in Aquarius season is people are kind of worried about themselves, fighting for what they want. And if you don't fall in line with what they want, at this point in time, it may cause issues in relationships or with career. People might get fed up and easily give up on things that they wouldn't normally because Mars is there pushing behind Pluto and saying, well, if it's not going to be my way, then I can go somewhere else, um, which is unfortunate. So please go handle that for me and shut the door. Let's see what else. Door to value. So this is important here, okay? Door to value means money. Good things can happen even with like Bitcoin. Don't quote me on that, but I'm just thinking Aquarius, technology, money, value, and getting this card. This is really about fighting for what you want without kind of having to succumb to somebody else's energy of obligation. Um, speak freely. Speak for what you want. Move towards the things you're driven towards. Don't give up on any dreams or anything like that. This isn't really a, a good time for starting brand new adventures, although a lot of us are, maybe Aquarius Rising or Aquarius Sun are doing more so of that um, because Pluto is revamping your whole life and you will change drastically for the next 18 years. So that's fine if that's happening to you. Um, and changes are occurring, I'm sure. Everyone's going through something. Break up, you lost your job. Um, you know, you're trying to change course in your career, different things. I just mean don't start something that you just came up with on a whim. This is something that's been in the works. Hang on to that and keep moving towards those things. Okay, that's what I mean by this door to value. 
Anything more? Thank you, Spirit, for the collective. Happy family. So I'm making Spirit is saying, hey, hang in there, okay? This energy is weird and people feel distant from each other and that's okay. But we just need to try to get back on track. So how do we do that? The garden and the gate seems like a very abundant place. There's beautiful butterflies and things here. Okay, and with the, it's amazing how spirit works. And then with the all tied up in reverse, okay, this is upright and it came out in reverse. Um, she's just like, no, <laughs> I'm not having this. People don't want to feel trapped in, in a career or in a relationship or anything they feel is not working or anything they feel is not in alignment with their their drive, what their sole purpose is. So think about your mission. Money is going to be there as long as you're following what you're passionate about. And happy family is a great thing. In the tarot, this is the four of wands. So this is about stability. I feel spirit saying here, like, you need to hang on to whatever you're moving towards. Don't say goodbye to things right now. This is not the time to be giving up on things or throwing it to the wind good things will come out of this okay but we need to stand up for what we want don't let other people make us feel bad for what we want but at the same time be aware everyone's having these same ideas everyone's fighting for something and they're not always going to be the same so we need to have stern conversations maybe but really get down to how can we compromise how can we have both of these things um, in order to, to make that work. The hanged man came out. This is a Piscean card. This is about seeing something in a different perspective. And that's exactly what I mean. You might not understand what someone wants when they come at you a certain way, but this is where we need to regroup and understand everyone in the collective is having this um, issue. So of personal power and Pluto is power. So it's about taking back what you believe is yours or um, standing in your power and standing up for yourself. But in these times, everyone is doing that, not just you. So that's why in order to make it work, because we can't just get rid of these people or our job, right? It doesn't always work like that. Um, so don't be impatient during this time. Try to see it from a new perspective and how you can make it work for both of you, all of you, your boss, whoever it may be. Anything else for the collective? I don't want this to go very long. It's already 12 minutes. Um, two of swords in reverse. So this is kind of like you already know what you should be doing. Okay. And, and some of us do. Maybe you have things that you need to get off your chest. Maybe you have things that you should have already been doing, working on uh, schooling, studying. Um, let's say you have a dream that you've been wanting to start um, and you just haven't. You have goals in mind and you just haven't started. Um, that's where I would say there's something underlying that you know needs to happen or needs to be said. Um, so that's important because normally the two of swords, she's blind and she doesn't know which way to go. And spirit is saying, you know exactly what to do in this time. Okay, six of swords in reverse. So this card in reverse means you might have to sit and feel uncomfortable for a minute, okay? Um, upright six of swords is moving on moving to calmer water so I feel things are going to get rockier before they're going to get better and that's okay as a collective we're doing this together and even individually and in our our own relationships we're doing this so six of swords in reverse is saying like someone doesn't want to move on you don't want to move forward or it's harder to move forward at this time can I get clarification on this, please? Six of swords in reverse. Six of cups in reverse. Wow. So some there's some things people aren't going to want to let go of. And I, I did say that you shouldn't throw things out the window. But if you know too, Pluto will force it. If you know something's not right and you've known for a long time and you didn't do anything about it, Pluto has been forcing this, okay? He will force the losing of your job and... uh breakups because you didn't do it on your own and it needed to happen so six of cups is nostalgia it's the past it's um, past life relationships or past life soulmates even childhood but in reverse it's kind of saying 
there are issues that people will hold on to, maybe even grudges, I feel. Um, and that that's going to make things harder emotionally. We just really need to be self-conscious right now. Um, anything more? Four of Pentacles in reverse. Be careful of control. Pluto is also control. And with Mars, it's going to be insane and emotionally off the charts. Be careful of how you're trying to control others and be aware of how others are trying to control you. Okay, um, your boss, your relationships, it doesn't matter, your children. People are going to be trying to force their way. Um, so Four of Pentacles is kind of saying you need to relinquish control at this time, which I've been saying um, to everyone. I even posted it the other day on Facebook. Like, It's okay to surrender right now because you're not in control. You Maybe you think you have control, but you don't. So... Um, it's about letting go of certain things and just be really aware of how you, yeah, it's, some people right now will find it harder to listen to their intuition and their gut because their ego, mind, Mars with Pluto is going to be telling them to fight for themselves and stand up for themselves. And that is true to an extent, but don't ruin things that you have going for you because you can't control your mouth or you can't control your actions. Not a good time to drink, not a good time for any kind of substance abuse that would exaggerate those aggressive feelings. Okay? Um, I'm going to leave it there because it's going to be too long. Okay, love you guys. See you later. Bye.